I'm walking with the word in Tesco, Sheffield. It had to happen someday. And I've been thinking about Proverbs chapter 20, verse 5. It says this, The purpose in a man's heart is like deep water. The man of understanding draws us out. And it just makes me think of situations where people can judge other people so quickly and assume that they can see their motives and understand them fully without really knowing them properly and not without really knowing them deeply. We sometimes make the mistake of assuming that people's purposes and motives are like a shallow puddle. Not deep waters, but like a shallow puddle, and we assume that we can see them. But actually, that in itself is a form of pride. What this proverb does is I think it gives respect to people's hearts. It gives respect to people's motives and says, actually, people's purposes are often like a deep water, and you can't just access them quickly and easily. But there's a second thing that occurs to me about this concept of, of people's plans and purposes being like deep water and that's it deep water is dangerous territory it's okay we can get into deep water safely and explore it safely but you have to do it cautiously and carefully and with preparation and it makes me think that if you're exploring someone's purposes and you're getting into difficult issues with them issues of heart issues of motivation don't do it brashly don't dive in head first take time prepare think it goes on to say the man of understanding draws out the purpose and and i think this man of understanding that proverbs is talking about is a is someone who cares it's someone who doesn't just want to hurt someone or or appear clever it's someone who cares about the person they care about what's in these deep waters and they draw out this word draw out is similar to the word from which we derive our word education. It's a sense of drawing out. And education is a process of drawing out understanding in people. And how do educators do that? Well, they do it through asking questions, getting people to think, getting people to reflect. And actually, if you're talking about people's purposes and motives and heart issues, I think the same applies as a a process of actually rather than just jumping to conclusions about people's motives and telling them what you know, asking them questions, getting them to reflect. This is what counsellors do when they work through issues with people. And I think in Proverbs, this concept of counselling is apparent in these verses. We're talking about someone caring, a man of understanding that cares about the person and wants to get to their purposes and motives. So these verses are challenging. Think about people that you know, think about their motives, and be careful not to judge them too quickly. They're not shallow puddles, but they're deep waters.